gonna have to be really careful here. Run really careful. I'm just run straight into it instead. Hopefully we can get the other one to come upstairs. Come on. Turn around and come up here. You can just oh really? Come on, you can get past each other. Try. There we go, right. Okay. Jesus Christ, timing. Uh, it actually cancels any damage that you take by the looks of it. Come on, turn around, come back up. No, this isn't... It was helping, there we go. Kind of got him to... Right, I need to be quick here. Oh shit. Creepy stone statues are lined up here. Yeah, I really wasn't um, wanting to inspect them, but I guess we are anyway. Oh! What's that? Oh shit. Um, I'm gonna actually kill these because, like, I don't- f I think they're causing far too much of a problem. Can anything, like, block the damage that they do, maybe? Oh shit. I should really just kill them now, shouldn't I, before it's too late. Is that both of them? No. Not quite. Close. Whew. Okay. Right, Claire is severely injured now. Hmm. What's down here? Can we actually get down there? No. What a waste of time. Oh well, they're dead now. But th th it looked like there might have been a bit too much to inspect here for me to just ignore it. I'm wrong. God damn it. Well, at least I know now. Look at that, that's fucking gross. Why do they have like a rib cage inside them? Who sculpts such shit? Oh no. There's another one in here, isn't there, somewhere? I better use this green herb. Yeah, here he is. Okay, okay. I can avoid him. Right, so we're back in the safe room again. Um, now, to answer that question about if I've got any more key items. No, I haven't. Oh yes, I do. I have the navy proof and the other proof. Um, right, so I think I'm going to carry all these things around with me. I'll use just one green herb. Put me at the higher end of caution, hopefully. And I'll take another one out with me. I'm also going to get rid of the knife. I know, it was a bit silly of me bringing it out, but whatever. The handgun is rather disposable, isn't it? So, you know, at this stage, anyway. So I have so many bullets in it. I can't believe the amount of bullets I have in it, to be honest. Have all these zombies respawned? Doesn't sound like it actually, just a few of them maybe. Oh, here we go, silver key. Right. I thought as much. Okay. A slot machine. One of them is turned on. Jeez. No need to be so vulgar about it. Right. Wonder what got it excited. Um, we can see out here, but we can't hear the zombies. That makes no sense. Whatever. Oh, lighting issue there. What's this then? We got a roulette table. Got a piano. Where's Rebecca when you need her? And we got a pack of cards. Is that? No, it isn't. Silly me. It's the explosive ammo. Right. It is designed so it reads out data. Right. So we need some sort of music card or something like that to feed through that, I'm guessing. Uh, there's nothing else here. There's a craps table. Oh, we have um, herbs, actually. Barely could see those. And we don't have any room for them. I just accidentally used one, didn't I? Whatever. Doesn't matter. Um, nothing else here? Doesn't look like it. Maybe on the other side of this table, actually. No? Okay, never mind then. Right, so... A piano that reads music. Right, so I've grabbed that green herb. I'm pretty sure... The other rooms were somewhere around here. Maybe one was in here. I'm thinking not, actually. I'm thinking this was just a, um... A toilet or something like that. Yes. Looks to be the case. Is there anything in here? I remember there were bats. Oh, first aid spray, of course. And daylight. Okay, so it would have been the other room. There is a zombie blocking the way, but I'm pretty sure I can lead him away from there. 
Oh, okay, he's back over here actually, he's reset position. So let's go through. Uh, not another room near the receptionist desk, is there? I don't think so. Oh, there's two rooms here, right, so one which requires the silver key. You don't need this key anymore, great. We found all the uses for the silver key already. That's fantastic. So let's get through this door. Oh god, why? Like seriously, why does it do this? Ugh. Oh god. <sighs> okay, looks like you're having acid rounds. I don't fancy trying my luck with pistols. Or a pistol, should I say. What the fuck is that in the middle of the room? And how come I can't climb over the desk like you just did? God damn it, Claire. I need to get more athletic. Yeah, you gotta go all the way around, of course. What's this, then? Hunk's report. Oh, Hunk. Wow. First time we've heard about him. Hunk is the, um, the mercenary in the, uh, second game who goes to collect the virus from William. William Birkin, um, with orders to basically take no shit from him. Uh, he does that with a team, and of course he's known as the last survivor. Did that little mini-game at the end of Resident Evil 2 with him in. Okay, so, um... ATN. I don't know what that stands for. Mr. Alfred Ashford. Head of the facility. Uh, ATN? 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 I don't know. Today, at 4.32, I arrived successfully from the Umbrella Transport Base with a large-scale BOW capsule. Extreme care was taken during transport, and all 108 checkpoints were confirmed condition green, in accordance with standard procedures. It is currently being stored in a freezer. By the way, by the way, by the way. I mentioned this in Life is Strange, but... My eyes are a lot better now. I don't know why, but I don't need glasses anymore. Like, they just miraculously recovered on their own. I wish everyone's eyes did that, like... I don't... My eyesight wasn't that bad, admittedly, but... Maybe it was because I stopped using computers so much, or something like that, because I was pretty much using them 24-7 back then. There's one thing that I don't understand. We are normally assigned to special missions. Why were we ordered to transport a frozen capsule this time? I understand that this may be classified as top secret, but without knowledge of the contents, our safety could be at risk during the transport. This is especially important if contents are potentially harmful. Right, okay. I'm surprised Hunk's still doing things after the- unless he's writing about the incident in Resident Evil 2. I'm, I'm surprised he's doing this kind of stuff still. We would like to ask you to provide us with more information, should we be assigned to a similar mission in the future. I still remember the good old days that I spent here in the military training centre. Nothing has changed since then. Good old days? Uh, it must have been a nice place before all this shit happened. We will gear up now. Uh, sorry, we will gear up for the next mission today at 11 p.m. Umbrella Special Forces Unit Hunk. Kind of curious, you know, if this is happening before or after Resident Evil 2. It's not very clear. It's a slide projector. It doesn't seem to be working perfectly. Right. How does she know? She hasn't, like... No, oh, whatever. An earthenware pot is on display here. What's earthenware again? I should know these things, I'm fucking British. Right. Uh... Especially since I come from Stoke-on-Trent, that's like the centre of pottery. Eagle play- oh my god, I don't remember what the fuck this stuff does. Eagle plays. Where's that gonna go? Is that by the execution grounds? Could be. It could be. Sorry, where someone was executed, should I say. I don't know if it's called the execution grounds. I'm really doubting it was called that, but... Right, um... I'm a little bit worried about the amount of stuff that I'm actually using from the, um, grenade launcher here. I think it might be a good idea if I pick up the, uh, the bow gun. Sometime soon. Alright, okay, so the gold key. Right, I don't need that key anymore, so I've used the keys completely. Great. 
Glad to know. Oh my god. Oh, the music's gone off here. I don't like that. What's this? A middle-aged man with red-haired twins. A tea set is placed on the table. There is a button below. No, I'm not going to push that. Right, picture of a red-haired man. Irvenware plate is also illustrated. Button below. Twins. Ashford twins. Red-haired man. Hmm. Picture of a man. Pure white. Pure white. Good observation. Right. Beautiful woman holding a tea set. Okay. Is this going like res one that Resident Evil puzzle where you have to, you know, from a uh, cradle to grave or whatever it is? Red haired man holding a tea set. Okay. Right. What's this relevant to then? A message to the new family master. Sir Alfred, congratulations on your succession as master of the Alfred family. Alfred family? Ashford family, should I say. I hereby present you with an earthenware face, according to the Ashford family tradition. Right, okay, so it's a tradition, I get it. I shouldn't laugh at that. Ugh, who gives a shit? As you know, this tradition first began when a butler presented a golden teacup as a commemorative to Veronica. I remember reading about Veronica in Resident Evil 5. Yeah, it's kind of where the title comes from, isn't it? Code Veronica. Because it all originates from Veronica, I believe, or something like that. I'm, getting, I'm guessing we're going to find out. Like I said, I have vague history in regards to Code Veronica in the sense that I do know a little bit of the story. As founder of the Ashford family, her intelligence and beauty are legendary. The second and third masters, Stanley and his son Thomas, were also presented with similar teacups. It was their hope to achieve glory as Veronica did before them. The position of family master then shifted from Sir Thomas to his twin brother, Sir Arthur. Right. He then went to Sir Edward, your grandfather. That was when the Ashford family enjoyed its golden age. It was also Sir Edward's achievement that established a, the large chemical enterprise. Sorry, got hiccups. <laughs> Umbrella Inc. Oh, right, okay. So the Ashford family are the founders of Umbrella, I'm guessing. However, when Sir Edward passed away, your father, Sir Alexander, succeeded the position. The glorious Ashford family gradually began to sing. I sincerely hope that the Ashford family regains its glory with your guidance, just as this vase continues to shine eternally. And that's from Scott Harmon, the butler of the Ashford family. Right. I'm guessing what I've got to do here is I've got to pick these all up. Pure white candlestick. Something is written on the base in memory of Alexander Ashford's succession. I'm guessing I've got to put these all in the right order. So, the first one would obviously be Veronica. Now, Veronica, easy one to pick up. She's going to be one of the women. I think there was only two. Or am I wrong? There might have only been one, actually. Seems about right. Yeah, okay. So, it's going to be Veronica, isn't it? It's also flashing. It's already been pressed. Did I press it? I don't think I did. So, next up. I have to have a loop through these files here. How do I get off this? There we go. So... Oh, we've missed quite a few here. What's going on? Prisoner's Diary. Yeah, it's like jumped a bit, hasn't it? Did, it, did we actually pick it up? Oh, there we go. Okay. Second and third. Stanley and his son, Thomas. They were also presented with the teacups. 
Right. That's the symbol that, you know, we're going to be able to tell that they are Stanley and Thomas, the teacups. However, we need to pick one and then the other, don't we? Right, so Thomas was a twin. And I believe I remember seeing someone with twins. Am I right to think that? So teacup and twins first, and then teacup, maybe. Now, it doesn't actually mention here what they received. I'm going to have to guess it was the, um, the teacup. I don't know, though. I actually do not know. No, because... Oh, the candles. Is that him, then? He has a teacup. Let's go with that one second. Okay. Why is this one flashing? So he has a tea set. What does he have? Everywhere plate. It's not going to be you then, is it? And he has the uh, candlestick. So I'm going to hazard a guess that it's this fancy looking man here next up. So that leaves us with two. Just two left. So is there any hint as to which one is which? Quick answer, no. However, we have actually seen... Alexander Ashford's succession. In memory of Alexander Ashford's succession. I get it, right. So it's going to be Alexander than his son, isn't it? Wait, no. That's unfortunate. It's um, it's a message to Alfred, isn't it? Now this even wear bit vase. We have seen it, haven't we? It's in the other room. No, no, no. It's an even wear place, isn't it? Shit. Was the plate sat there? No. I'm gonna guess... I'm gonna guess... It was the guy with the plate. And then... The guy with the candlestick. Just a guess. Um... Based on what we've seen. Could be right, could be wrong. Oh. Well, I did that wrong, didn't I? So where did I go wrong? Should we try doing the um, the two that I did at the end in the other order? I think it's probably best, isn't it? Or did I accidentally press a few of them as I was going through this? Because now they've all reset. <laughs> I'm thinking that that is what's happened, actually. Right, so the one with the twins. Oh, uh, yeah, this one here. Irvenware vase, oh my god. Right, teacup man. <sighs> Irvenware vase. Stanley and his son Thomas. Presented with similar teacups. Right, so if this is the way that um, he looked and his twin it's twin. They're all gingers. This guy, maybe? They do look very similar, don't they? I'm gonna hazard a guess it was this guy. So that leaves us with two, once again. We've got him with the... okay, I'm thinking it's actually this guy, then, um... Whoops. And then... The guy with the vase, because the vase was passed on was passed on to Alfred, wasn't it? So... Uh, hopefully this is right. Nope, wrong again.
Other way round then, maybe. Other way round. Vase. Candle. Hey, it works. Okay, so... I was kind of right, in a sense. Oh. I get it, right. It's... it's the air was actually Elixir and not... Alfred. Earthenware vase, right. Where's that gonna go? Earthenware vase... Earthenware vase... Shit, I can't remember. Oh, man. Was it in one of the other rooms, or did I imagine that? I know we need a music sheet. Alright, I get the feeling I'm gonna have to backtrack through the game here. Um, where to, though? Where to? Go to the execution grounds first, or go to the, um... The submarine area? I think go to the execution grounds. Uh, gonna be harder to get to, but still, I think I'm most confident about the result of that one, because like I said, I think we're missing one seal. Um, or one proof, or whatever it was called, sorry. I am absolutely not confident this is a good idea, but oh well, let's give it a go. Oh, okay. Pleasantly surprised with how well that worked. They are quite powerful. Right, zombies here still. Um, which way was it? I think it was this way. Was it? I've only recently been here, I should know. No, 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 it wasn't. Oh well, reset the position. Okay. Oh, no, gone the wrong way. This wasn't a good idea at all. Oh well, knocks him back. Oh, okay, not completely over though, unfortunately. Uh-oh. The feast is on. Oh, god damn it. That did not go well. Well, I hope they enjoyed it while it lasted. Did I actually kill- oh no, I didn't. Oh, zombies here as well? Really? Um, hmm. I'll use the bow gun on these, I think. Dead. Right, I think I could get round him safely. Yes, I think this is right. It is. Oh, thank fuck for that. Whoa, okay. Pl oh, shit. No, don't you dare. Silly girl. You want to come out? I'm definitely not coming in. Uh, maybe I can lure this one out and get around him. Probably not, though. Oh, fucking hell. I'll, I'll kill him just to turn off the music. It's just getting a bit... It's a bit over the top, really, isn't it? There we go. Whoop. Oh, shit. I notice the bow gun doesn't seem to want to shoot in front of itself sometimes. It's really irritating. Like, Claire's accuracy in regards to it is fucking terrible. Right, so that gives us access to this area by the looks of it. Not looking forward to seeing what's here. Oh, crap. Right, um... That works. And another one there, right. Might be a good idea to save that just in case there's something big here. You never know. Might be a stretch Armstrong just pop out of nowhere. Green herb, thank you. Kinda might need that soon. Nothing here seems to be useful. Right. So what we got here? Okay, can't see at the moment actually. We have a building. Let's have a quick look-see. What's in here? A zombie on the bed. 
chemicals with unfamiliar names, is that? Yeah, arranged here, okay. What are you doing there? Oh, he must have had a bad day. He's been injured. Ugh. He's been injured during um, training or something. I don't know. Bloodstained scalpels are scattered here. It appears to have been an anatomized. Oh, he is not breathing. What What does that mean? Anim anim anatomized? Anat oh, I don't know. I'm losing my voice here. What's going on? <clears throat> We have a uh, first aid spray here. Naturally, I'm just going to leave them like I always have done. Uh, like I said, I can't even remember if um, a body bag has been left here. I can't even remember if they actually affect the rank or not, but still. I'm just doing my usual trick of leaving them everywhere. Anima... Anima... Oh my god, how is that word pronounced? Oh, fuck it. Just moving on. <laughs> There is a demon in my mind. I can't control the fierce impulses that the demon sometimes drives me to act upon. It is a brutal ceremony. With the demon next to me, I enjoy watching people agonize in pain, screaming and compulsive, re compul compulsing repeatedly as they die. God, that's horrible. But Sir Alfred, <clears throat> but Sir Alfred was kind enough to acknowledge me, and has given me the facilities, chemicals and equipment necessary to study everything. Right, okay, so he's some sort of dodgy scientist who I believe has been, like, experimenting on people. I must never betray Sir Alfred's kindness. It is especially critical that no one discovers the sacred place that only he and I know about. I swear the basement of this medical building will be kept a secret. Oh, God. We're gonna have to go into the basement, aren't we? 